Good Stu Nation, your boy Stu is back. First and foremost, I want to give you guys a big, big, big thanks for coming through on my last video where I pranked my mom for the second time. Now, I did catch a little flag for pranking my mom. Unfortunately, she started to cry and I did not plan that at all. I did not know it was gonna go that far. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you click the link down in the description. It'll take you straight to it. And I'm telling you, the video is priceless. Sorry, I got so much energy. I had too much coffee this morning. <sighs> Also, for those who are new to the channel and who are asking, well, what is a stew nation? Well, buddy, a stew nation is a group of people who are the dopest, dopest supporters, supporters in the whole wide world. world. Let me tell you about Stew Nation. Stew Nation has been with me since day one when I started my vlog. They're not afraid to let me know if I'm messing up on my vlog. They support me, they show me love, and I show them love back. They're like my family. Oh, what's that you say? You wanna know how to join the Stew Nation? Well, buddy, bucko, buckaroo. It's so, so, so simple. All you have to do is go down at the bottom. It's a little red button that says subscribe. Click that, and right next to that is gonna be a little bell. You click that bell, that will set you up to receive all the notifications for when I post a video. After you do that, all you have to do is go down to the comment section, comment Stew, Stew! and hashtag Stu Nation to let everyone know that you just joined the dopest nation in a whole wide world, okay? Now, I got a surprise for you guys. I'm not gonna say what it is, but I want you guys to go down in the comment section and try to guess what it is. None of you, none of you, will be able to guess this surprise. Like, this is totally unexpected. I've actually been thinking about this for a few years and I'm finally acting on it. A lot of people may be upset for it. A lot of people may think it's an awesome idea, but at the end of the day, it's my decision and I'm sticking to it. But anyways, go ahead down in the comment section and guess what it is. Without further ado, we're gonna go right into this vlog and reveal this surprise. <laughs> it's so weird because a guy from Papa John's just drove around this corner seeing me vlog and he looked at me hella weird, but I don't care. Let's go! Oh, <laughs> 
So this is the big, big surprise. I know a lot of people are probably in shock. Finally made a decision to get a bike and I'm excited about it. You got a few minor things wrong with it, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Mainly it's the uh, the sprockets, this sprocket back here, the guy who owned it before, he put an aluminum sprocket on it. And if you know anything about aluminum and steel, they do not go. I just bought a replacement battery for it. And then a guy, he actually also hooked me up with a uh, uh, an oil change before he ended up uh, giving it to me. It has a few cosmetic things wrong with it, but I'm not really worried about it too much because my plan is to ride on this bike for a couple months to get used to it. Then I was gonna go ahead and get a whole new fairing kit for it. Overall, it's a good starter bike. I'm not really complaining about it. Like I said, I got a really, really good deal for it. So, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Like I said before, I got a really, really good price on the bike. I spent 1200 on it. Now most people think like, oh, that's a cheap bike. Something's wrong with it. I looked over it and I had a few other people who rode bikes or who ride bikes now and they said it's a pretty good bike. It's just the guy who sold it to me. He's going to boot camp. He wanted to get rid of it and get it out of his parents' garage before he left. So I took it off his hands. Get back with you guys when I get an update on the bike. Until next time, your boy Stu, out. <laughs>